Hey YouTube, I um, wanted to do another video real quick just showing you some of the uh, AR-15s that I have. Um, actually, I'm showing you all the AR-15s that I have. I've uh, I built some, I bought some, I've sold some, I've gone through different tastes and um, obviously my, uh, my tastes have changed. I've tried different, uh, you know, and earlier on in, in my uh, AR buying days, I was buying what I thought looked cool versus what was essentially going to be practical. Um, and then I think I'm done, and I probably said I think I'm done a million times. But anyway, let's get to it. I'm just going to do a quick overview. This is nothing earth shattering. This is just uh, me sitting on a Saturday. Um, <laughs> I've been traveling a lot for work and I just felt like doing this video to just share with you guys uh, my ARs. Maybe you'll get some, you know, some ideas on uh, what to do with yours. So let's start with the most basic. This is my cheapest build. Um, I haven't even shot this one, but I'm just going to show it to you real quick. So this is a basically as about as budget as you can get. Um, now, having said that, um, I'm sure that it'll still shoot well because um, I've I've had these uh, uppers from uh, Palmetto State before and they've been great, no issues at all. Uh, basically, it's a PSA upper, uh, one and seven twist. This is their Freedom upper, so it's not even the cold hammer forge barrel. Um, you know, Macpole furniture. Uh, it's got the PSA a BCG on there, some Macpole furniture again, and then I've got this uh, Bushmaster detachable carry handle that I bought used um, and this is again as cheap as they get this is an Anderson lower so that's it I just wanted to show you guys that real quick um, this one um, this is kind of just a, it was just a project that started out as just a lower I had some parts laying around and I decided I was wanted to kind of do my own paint job and when I say my own paint job I'm saying I used just this is just rattle can rust-oleum um, as you can see, it's, uh, you know, the paint's coming off and it kind of gives it a little bit of character just from use. It's not as much as I would like it, but um, real quick, this is a BCM upper with a 16-inch cold hammer forge barrel. This is the KMR Alpha. Um, this has a Spikes Crusader lower. The uh, Daniel Defense sights, I've got a Surefire X300 up here in the front. Um, got an AAC brake just because I've got um, AAC cans, so I figured I'd, uh, most of my R's would be wearing these. Um, Spikes Tactical Nickel Boron BCG. I've had this for years since they first came out, and I've just, you know, kind of kept it on. Um, B5 Sop Mod Stock, and then my BCM charging handle, which is on every single AR that I have. So there's that. Kind of a fun rifle. Um, this is my... The first one, a budget rifle, and this one are my only non-SBR ARs. So, there it is. Alright, and I believe you guys have seen these before. Let me start with... Let's start with... Um, actually, you know what? Let's start with my 300 Blackout. So, again, you guys have seen this before. This is my 300 Blackout. Uh, again, BCM uh, strip receiver. I've got a, um, a Geisley MK4 Mark IV um, rail here and burnt bronze. It's got a Noveski 10.5 inch barrel. This is an AAC SDM6 can. Um, what else? BCM uh, charging handle, BCG, blah, blah, blah. This is basically a um, spike slower. B5, and then I've got a loop bolt scope on it. So you guys have seen it. There's a video on it. Check it out. But just wanted to show you. This is a lot of fun. My daughter loves this gun, especially suppressed and uh, shooting subsonics. I'm actually thinking of um, I've got to get some supersonic rounds. I'm thinking of taking this out hunting, but I've got to sign it in for that first. All right. This is my first SBR ever. Um, this is a uh, complete Daniel Defense Mark 18 upper. Uh, got the uh, AAC brake, Surefire light right there, as you can see. Um, and by the way, um, I, I try to put aim points on, on everything. When it, if, I'm gonna, if it's going to wear a red dot, I try to stick with aim point. 
I don't have any night vision gear, so I usually just get the H1, which is just great. Um, but yeah, here you go. That is my original, my first SBR, the one that started it all, and I can't stop. And last but not least, out of the ARs, um, my favorite to shoot. And again, you guys have seen a video on this, but it has changed quite a bit. Uh, so this is my 9mm uh, AR. Uh, it's actually made for to take Colt bags. Uh, this is a QC10, quarter circle 10 lower. Got a Voltor upper. I, um, I have a 4.5 inch barrel from ADCO. And then my AAC Tyrant 9 is actually <laughs> in here, as you can see. And my daughter has already, my 11 year old daughter has already claimed this as hers, so, <laughs> um, which I have no problems with. But anyway, uh, yeah, this is my favorite. Um, just wanted to kind of show you guys what I have. To be honest with you, I haven't been motivated to do any more builds. I've been really focusing on trying to shoot more. Uh, I haven't made a video in a long time, but that was it. I wanted to share that with you guys. Again, there's absolutely no reason for, uh, for this video other than just, you know, show you some gear. Hopefully you get some ideas. Um, you know, post your comments below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you would change, what you like, what you don't like. As always, I do appreciate you guys watching, and uh, please subscribe.